pass is gravel, rough, steep and spectacular. Many parts of the ascent have a gradient of 1 in 4, which means you'll be driving most of this in first and second gear. You don't need a four-wheel drive vehicle to complete this pass, but it is an advantage. Ground clearance could be an issue with cars that are low slung. The pass rises up from an area called the Knarsflakte and descends to the Kubi River Valley in the southeast, where it splits into two directions, both ending in dead ends at the farms along the Kubi River Valley. The scenery is exceptionally beautiful for those who think this northern section of the Western Cape is just a barren wasteland. The pass lies close to the border between the Western and the Northern Cape near the Urlochskloof Nature Reserve. To find this pass, go to Van Reinsdorp and then head northeast on the Tard R27 to Nivotvil for 8 kilometers. Take the turn off to the right marked Kubi. Follow this arrow straight gravel road for 14 kilometers where the road passes a cattle grid. This point also marks the start of the pass. The pass is named after the Kubi River to where this pass heads some 12 kilometers away to the southeast. We've produced three videos of this lovely and deserving pass. Part 1 deals with the ascent from west to east. Part 2 deals with the descent towards the southeast to the Kubi River which is much less dramatic than the other two and part three covers the descent from the summit heading back towards the west which offers fabulous scenery. After a long straight and dusty pull over the Knarsflakte one arrives at a cattle grid opposite the farm de Hoop and this point marks the entry into the deep cleft into the Bockefeld mountains and the western start of the pass. The Knarsflakte itself is easy to overlook but if you take time to stop and examine the minute succulents hidden amongst the quartzite gravel, you'll discover a wonderful world of biodiversity. The Knarsflakte is a particularly fascinating portion of that well-known biodiversity hotspot, the succulent Karoo. Sprawling roughly between the towns of Van Reinsdorp and Bitterfontein, the Knarsflakte's characteristic white quartzite gravel conceals plants with an indomitable instinct for survival. There are dwarf mesembryanthemums in the Knarsflakte that only open their seed capsules when raindrops fall on them. Some of these miniature succulents look like tiny green marbles, others like flowering pebbles. Yet others emerge above the soil only during the temperate spring and retreat back into the soil almost invisible when the summer heat arrives. Experts say these plants are extremely vulnerable to climate change and a number of strategies are being explored to safeguard them. Not surprisingly, a large section of this botanically rich area is on the verge of being proclaimed a nature reserve by Cape Nature. A conservation manager based in von Reinsdorp is available to give information on the area. The ascent can be divided into two distinct sections with a short level section about halfway up just after a gate and cattle grid. There is enough space here for one or two vehicles to stop and enjoy the dramatic scenery. The two distinct peaks can both be clearly seen from here with the Tierberg peak a bit further away to the left and the jumble of hills ahead and to the left are aptly called the Ronda Coppa. Some of the corners are negotiated only to find a very steep section immediately after the bend requiring a change to first gear. The second part of the ascent is less steep but no less convoluted. Another eight sharp corners need to be negotiated of which one is a hairpin bend of 150 degrees. The deep valley we're traveling through is flanked on the western side by a long flat top mountain called Liustert. It has a distinctively shaped peak at its northern extremity with a summit altitude of 887 meters which can be seen for many miles. A smaller peak lies closer to the start on the right hand side of the road known as Krimpsik Kop. Drivers should remain very alert on the ascent of this pass as it is peppered with sharp corners, 18 of them in total. The last leg of the climb is directly into the southeast where the pass summits at a natural neck where two battered and weathered signboards show the gated road to the left to be Tierberg and the other indicates the summit of the Kubi Pass. 
take a breather here and savor the wide expanse of scenery all around you. The mind-boggling steepness of the road leading up to the Tierberg Pass leaves no doubt that it is not for the average vehicle or driver. Be sure to watch parts 2 and 3 which deal with the descents to the east and to the west.